Hey there, we're really excited to show you this next ManyChat app. It's a very popular request, by the way. It's um, the web view forms. Everybody wants it and few people know how to create one this easy. So it's a really uh, big advantage. If you use it, you can do a lot of things, as you can see. And as the image um, suggests, if you have been or finished kindergarten, you can actually do this. So all you need to do is write a sentence and then you're good to go. So I'm going to show you um, how this all works. This little line of code is all that you need to actually create a web view form. And as you can see, this one will create a select field and a checkbox field which is um, right here and that's only two parts of a, of a form and you can also create an entire form and I'll show you right here as you can see <coughs> excuse me this section right here will transform into this entire form and it's really really easy so let's get started. The first thing you have to do is select the template. You will find it in the description uh, when you're watching this on YouTube or it's in the description uh, at your um, ManyChat apps store as well. So you click the link to install the template and when that is done, we continue to the next step. So when you are done installing the template, you will see this path in your ManyChat account and when you go there you will see these two startup flows. The one is to create the form which is why we need the action and the second one is the uh, flow where you will go after the form is submitted. So um, you can verify their submission or whatever you want to do. We just um, look into this one today. The actual creation of the web view. As you can see in the flow there's a couple of samples. You can use those individually or you can just combine them and the way you do that is you comma separate these fields. So uh, you will find more of these examples in the um, manual. I suggest you read that carefully but it's really, really easy. Most just need four of these fields. Uh, the first one is the form input field. So text, email, select, radio or checkbox. The second one is your custom user field name. The third one is the uh, label. So uh, what your um, subscriber will see when they go to the form. And the fourth value is the uh, character limit. So if you don't want um, a name to be 200 characters, but just about 15 or 20 or whatever, you just enter that number right here. Our next step before we can continue is uh, get the action because or the app for the action. Because right now, as you can see, it says select action undefined. That is because we did install the template but there is no action yet because the app is not installed in this account. So you can click the link to install the app when you're in the app store, or you can just use the immediate link that's in the uh, manual. As you can see in our manual, it will display or it will uh, explain everything. And there's also all these links that you can go to. So, that just means that everything is there. This is the uh, direct install link. I will click that and install the app. I'll be back in a second. This is what you see when you click the installation link. And after you clicked install, you will be prompted to select one of your pages. And when that is done, you will see the uh, first 
setup window. I'll show you that in a second as well. So this is what you will see after you clicked your page to install the app into. I'll just click go to app ins or settings. And there you will see this initial page where you will enter your API key as well as your license key or in this case I'll just pick form 50 which will give me 50 free tries every month. I'll be back in a second I'll just enter an API key and click save. So now I'm back I did the installation I filled in my API key and other than that I didn't do anything yet and as you can see the action window has now been updated and it will no longer say undefined but now it will say dynamic web view form you just click this little window and on the left side there will now appear this window as you can see there's a couple of settings here you can change those to your liking it will all be explained in the manual as well and this is actually where the magic happens these are your form entries so I will show you what you can do with that and you can just copy paste these from the manual or you can create your own I would just suggest to uh, take a look at them and see what they actually do it's really really easy and it creates just beautiful forms um, the required fields an asterisk asterisk means um, everything is required and a zero means nothing is required you can deviate from that but i will refer to the manual as well because um, there's a couple of things that are pretty helpful you can just include or exclude one or several form field names so this is the page of your web view what people will see on top of your web view and submit form you can change this to any text you like so if you want to do it in your own language that's no problem and this is the uh, flow that people will return to I'll just leave it as is and you can of course select another one or just um, browse for the current one as well then there's this web view URL you'll need it because of course you will send people to this form in your next step which is this one from created go to the web form just click edit for a second there and go to web form and there you will include this custom user field and you can change the web view size if you only want to for example ask people for their country because that's really really easy it's just one single line of code and all the countries are populated uh, you can just create like a smaller window like 50 percent and you can then send them back somewhere and ask for their state if they're actually uh, in the United States you can just use a condition validate it with the a submitted entry and go from there then this web view form I'll just go to my phone and I will show you what that will look like so I just clicked the preview in this flow right here so you will see on my phone screen that it's the exact flow right here I have to admit I did not create all the user fields in the form so I will only show you what the form will look like and not submit it but that will be obvious I guess so this is the form we just created as you can see it has submit form I'll just make some changes in a second so you can see how easy it works and these are the country codes 
like I said earlier, you can change it any way you want. And same goes for states. It's really, really easy. It's, you're going to love it. And when I click submit, it will submit all the custom user fields and return to the flow that we have specified. So what if we want to change this form into something a little bit easier? Let's say, for example, we only want the uh, country, so we will just grab a little text. Let's hold on for a second, I'll just get it. So what if we only want to have like the country code and for example, what is your favorite fruit? Well, that's just this little line of text right here, as you can see, country. And let me see, I think I made a little mistake there because it needs the select. And then separate by a semicolon. So I will change that. Paste it in there again. Select country. Yep, that's it. We're going to save it. And click save. So now we changed the web form. That was all it took. We just publish. Click preview again. Oh, wait. We can also make it a little smaller. Hold on. Just make one more change, make it medium sized, then publish and we will preview it again. And nice, let's go, which will create the new web view link. We go to the web form and the result will be the other form. I changed the default country to the Netherlands and we just asked for some favorite fruits. So as you can see, it's really, really fast. It's easy and it will work very well for your business. It will be very user friendly. And if you want to change the country back to, for example, the US, just change it to US. If you want to add a fruit, let's say strawberry, there you go. Save it, publish it, preview it, run the action again, click to the web form again, and there you see the default country is now United States and we have the extra feature right there. So I hope you like it and if you do please share with everybody and if there's any question don't hesitate to ask.